we made it. I have another new setup, so I'll show you guys. We're moving through the night like we're from a different star. Flying over streets and a broken heart. Almost 12, it's going well. Uh, definitely picked up in the last hour or so. Apparently Kevin Eastman is here, and I don't know if you guys know, but I'm related to him. He is my great aunt's husband's nephew. Sorry, <laughs> I'm vlogging. <laughs> Exactly like my okay. great uncle. <laughs> and we're going to get food with a bunch of people, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. What was it like meeting Kevin? It was really cool. He was super down to earth, and they were talking about Maine, where I vacation a lot, and it was just really like surreal. Like I was meeting this famous person, but I knew them already. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I don't know what else to say. my voice <clears throat> oh, <laughs> I lost my voice <laughs> morning it is Monday morning I, I quickly wanted to record this while it was fresh in my mind um, because it was just such an amazing weekend uh, totally it was unexpected um, Granite State has become one of my favorites so far uh, so I definitely want to be back to, uh, tomorrow <laughs> next year it just was amazing I really think my new setup helped uh, thank you Bianca for all of your wonderful wonderful advice I took my prints out of the sleeves behind me um, I added more stuff up front 
Um, I just made my table look super full and it made me worried because I'm someone that really likes simple stuff and like clean, a clean look. Um, but they, it's true that you only have maybe like a second to catch someone's eye. So if, if your table just has like a few things, they're not going to kind of take a longer look at it. But if you have more things scattered everywhere, there's a better chance that they're going to see something, um, that might catch their eye. So... Uh, I really do think my new setup helped, or it was just because I was new to this convention, so I was like a new uh, artist there, um, but it just was like crazy busy for me. I did really well, met so many amazing people, um, and wonderful, wonderful artists. Uh, like one of my dreams came true and I got to have dinner with a bunch of Artist Alley people afterwards. There was like 13 of us and it was just a successful night and just so many laughs and oh, it was just so lovely and I loved meeting every single one of you guys. I got to meet Kevin Eastman too. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw on Twitter and Instagram but um, I grew up knowing that I was somehow related to him. Uh, Kevin Eastman is the creator, one of the creators for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I had no idea that he was going to be there this weekend until John and I got there and we saw all this like Ninja Turtle stuff and there's this huge line behind us and we asked someone, we're like, who's the celebrity there? And they're like, oh, it's Kevin Eastman. And I was like, oh, I'm like somewhat related to him. and. Uh, so I like texted my mom and I was like, how am I related to this guy again? She's like, oh, he's your uh, great uncle's nephew, um, my great uncle Mark, uh, who I'm, I'm good friends with. So she was like, you should go and like introduce yourself. Uh, but I was scared and I was like, no, I should just like stay by my table. But my wonderful husband like went over, talked to his staff, ended up talking to his wife, Courtney, introduced himself and was like, my wife is like kind of related to Kevin, didn't know if we could come and introduce ourselves. She's like, yeah, totally. Like when the line dies down, come over and you guys can say hi. Waited till like the line was gone and we went over and introduced ourselves and he was like, oh, that's so cool. Yeah, I know Mark and Aunt Seal. And um, he was like, you should talk to my dad. And I look up and his dad is like the spitting image of my uncle Mark, great uncle Mark because they're brothers um, and I, it just like caught me off guard I was like whoa um, and we have like a cottage in Maine and I guess he was there over the fourth which I'm usually there as well and it just was like it was just such a it's a small world and um, it was just great great meeting him um, he really took the time to like get to know us and we ended up talking to him again on Sunday and I was able to show him some of my work and Courtney bought some of my pieces and it was just like, it was so meaningful and um, just like a great, great experience. So thank you, John, my husband, for um, seeing through me that I was just like nervous and I didn't want to go up and uh, yeah, I, I just... Uh, that was a good experience. <laughs> I felt so embarrassed. I like know nothing about the show. I know I grew up watching like a few episodes here and there, but um, I grew up thinking, or people had told me that the idea came to him while in a pizza shop. So I asked him, I was like, so the idea for the, uh, the turtles, <laughs> that's what I said, the turtles. <laughs> I felt so embarrassed. Uh, came to you in a pizza shop, and he's like, "No, no, it was in my studio." And then his dad was like, "You, you didn't have a studio. It was in the garage." <laughs> uh, so yeah, it was just a good time. So happy that I met them. Um, I was able to do some more art trades. Um, so across from me was Aaron, and he is just an amazing artist. But I was able to get this gorgeous. Jasmine print. Oh, let me check it out. Jasmine is my favorite princess, one of my favorite princesses. Um, she just holds a very special place in my heart. A whole new world. I just sang like every day. My mom can attest to it. <laughs> so thank you so much. Just being so like open and supportive and I love talking to you about like new ideas and um, how we're both just constantly changing, trying to figure things out. 
Um, so just keep going, man. I hope to see you soon. I got to meet Monique and she's just so sweet. I love her to death and I was able to get this gorgeous print from her because um, she wanted a Bulbasaur uh, charm. So uh, thank you, Monique, and thank you for getting bubble tea with me uh, on Sunday because it was just so delicious. I have never really had it before, and she suggested the green tea with the boba, and it was so good. So definitely going to search around for um, a bubble tea place around here because it was very good. I'm like addicted now. <laughs> but it was just lovely talking to you and like getting to know you, and you're just, you're so sweet. So I'm so glad that we were able to meet through uh, K-Beast who was also there and she's just amazing uh, this was like her first big con and I'm so proud of her her buttons are so cute she just did these um, like card capture Sakura pack of buttons and uh, oh my gosh I kind of wish I got some but <laughs> um, please go check out K-Beast she's just adorable and I love her so much and of course Sarah Adorkovos was there the con mom we're calling her now yeah so we did another art trade because she wanted my newest Sailor Moon print um, so I picked out this little keychain it's so adorable I already put it on my backpack um, so I love it so much and then John also got a little dongo with like a mustache and it's so adorable and then she surprised me and got me this um panda charm from another artist i can't i don't remember her name but i will um do a little annotation here but um it's just so cute she like came over and she was like close your eyes and i was like okay she's like hold out your hand i was like okay and it was just oh it was so good so thank you so much i also met Amanda, she does really cool, like more of a dark uh, ink look, and um, I just absolutely loved her stuff. She was just like around the corner from me, and we ended up doing an art trade. She loved my newest Steve, um, so I, I picked this out, and she had some great advice for me too, so thank you. Thank you so much to Lenny for allowing me to... Uh, use one of his tables because he warned me like the day before that the tables they use are very narrow and the setup I was doing was kind of wide um, so he's like I'll bring an extra one for you because I was like I don't have an extra table and he did and it just helped out so much so thank you Lenny for allowing me to use your extra table because um, that just was, was so so helpful um, I hope you had a great weekend can't wait to see you in Rhode Island oh and then of course all my friends that came to visit me uh, Chuck, thank you so much. I definitely want to do that commission of Final Fantasy VIII for you because that just seems so sweet. Zephyrlink, of course, for always hanging out. Uh, Mel, for coming out and just saying hi and I miss you so much and we need to get together soon. And Kim, my uh, best friend from school, because uh, we both went to Southern New Hampshire University, which is like right around the corner. Um, so she was able to come and hang out and have dinner with us. So it was great catching up. My next shows will be in Salem. I'm doing the Haunted Happenings. Um, so I'll be there the 12th of October and the 26th of October. So right before Halloween. And I'll be sharing a tent with K-Rose Illustrations. So that's going to be super awesome. Um, so I'll be there in October and then the beginning of November I'll be at Rhode Island Comic Con. I'm super nervous about that one because people say that's like the biggest Comic Con in New England and sometimes they stick people in this like really small arena place that like nobody goes to. I'm still excited to see if it's if it's worth it. A bunch of commissions coming up. I'm working on Carol Park's new installment for the um, Heretic God series because uh, I did Banebringer and now I'm doing Cursebreaker. Thank you so much to my 451 subscribers. You guys are amazing. I love you so much. Um, and also thank you to my panda army. You guys are just fantastic and I love that you guys are here backing me up and uh, just being so so supportive. I will see you guys. Bye!